Hello students, welcome to engineering chemistry class. Uh, today we are going to learn unit 2, spectroscopy techniques and applications. In that uh, we are going to see the introduction to spectroscopy in lesson 1. Uh, the aim of this unit, that is spectroscopy techniques and applications is uh, to introduce you uh, to the main uh, three spectroscopic techniques that chemists use. So the namely microwave spectroscopy, IR spectroscopy and NMR spectroscopy. Uh, students, as I told in the previous lectures, we have reflections part. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to have quiz at the end of each uh, lesson uh, so that you can learn all the topics effectively. The outcomes of this unit are to acquire basic knowledge of the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter and you'll be able to understand the molecular spectra and to recognize the relationship between molecular spectra and molecular properties and uh, to understand rotational, vibrational and NMR spectra. These are the contents of uh, unit two. Uh, in today's uh, session, we are going to uh, learn we are we are going to discuss the introduction to spectroscopy uh, guys uh, now uh, molecular spectroscopy involves uh, the measurement of interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the molecules or with matter so and by monitoring this interaction you can gain uh, very important information about the uh, structure of the molecule, shape of the molecule. You can get information about the geometry of the molecule, dynamics of the molecule. You can get uh, bond angle, bond lens, and uh, the movement of atoms and electrons within the molecule. And indeed, uh, if you look at the kind of information uh, we know currently about the molecules, uh, you find uh, that uh, most of it was obtained using uh, spectroscopic techniques. Uh, let us move on to the spectroscopy definition. Yeah, tell me what is spectroscopy? It is the study of uh, interaction of light or interaction of electromagnetic uh, radiation and the matter. So there are a number of uh, different types of spectroscopic techniques available like uh, microwave, IR, UV, NMR, MOSBEAR, uh, Raman spectroscopy, etc. So uh, why, how, uh, how spectroscopy comes into the mind? How, com uh, how uh, the, this field arises? Uh, because uh, being a chemist, uh, one of the frustration is, uh, see like, um, uh, if you prepare a sample, if you prepare uh, any compound, say a drug, and uh, if you uh, look at the test tube or round bottom flask, you, can, you can't actually see the individual molecules that you have made, that you have prepared. Uh, though your product looks uh, the right color and seems to give uh, good results uh, when you carry out chemical test uh, or any type of test to confirm the structure of the molecule uh, can you be uh, really sure uh, of its precise structure fortunately uh, you will get uh, through these spectroscopic techniques uh, although you might not be able to see the molecules uh, but they will respond they do respond uh, when light energy incident on them uh, so you, you can observe that response then uh, you may be uh, you can get some information about the molecule. So that, that is how uh, spectroscopy comes into the picture. So now we are in reflection spot. As I told in the beginning of this class, uh, take paper and pen, pass this video for a while, answer this question, then resume. Check your answers. Okay. Uh, so what are electromagnetic spectrum? And how many regions are there? This is my question. Is yes, the answer is the range of wavelengths and frequencies present in the light is known as electromagnetic spectrum. And there are seven regions in the electromagnetic spectrum. They are radio wave, microwave, IR, U visible, UV, X-ray, and gamma. Uh, guys, I told you in the beginning, spectroscopy is the study of light. Uh, that is electromagnetic radiation and matter that can interact with the electromagnetic radiation. Uh, 
there are a number of different types of spectroscopic technique and the basic principle is incident a beam of particular electromagnetic radiation of particular wavelength onto a sample and observe how it responds to, uh, to such condition. Uh, so uh, this allows chemists or scientists uh, to get the information about the molecules, to get the information about the structure or shape of the molecules. So the range of wavelengths and frequencies in light is known as electromagnetic spectrum. So this spectrum is uh, divided into various categories, various regions, uh, uh, ranges from uh, very short wavelength to very, uh, sorry, very short wavelength to a very long wavelength, very short wavelength to very long wavelength. Uh, so the visible region only makes up a small part of the electromagnetic spe spectrum that is in the range of uh, 380 to 770 nanometer. Yeah. Types of uh, spectroscopic techniques. Uh, uh, here I want to explain the two types of uh, spectroscopy. One is uh, atomic spectroscopy and another one is molecular spectroscopy. What is atomic spectroscopy? It is the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with atoms which are most commonly in, the, uh, in their low energy state or ground state. Uh, what is molecular spectroscopy? It is the interaction of electromagnetic radiations with molecules which results in the transition between rotational and vibrational energy levels in addition to electronic transitions. See guys, when you incident, when you heat a molecule with the electromagnetic radiation, the molecules uh, present in the sample will undergo transitions like rotational, vibrational and electronic transitions depends on the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, radio waves. Radio waves can cause nuclei in some atoms to change magnetic orientation and this forms the basics of a technique called uh, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy or NMR spectroscopy. If the molecular rotations are excited by microwaves, then it is called microwave spectroscopy. If the electrons present in the molecules are promoted to higher orbitals by ultraviolet or visible light radiations, then it is called UV spectroscopy. If the vibrations uh, are taking place in the molecules, it is by uh, IR radiation, that is infrared radiation, then we call it as IR spectroscopy. Uh, if there is absorption of high uh, frequency gamma rays by the nuclei, then the technique is called mos Bayer spectroscopy. So when matter absorbs electromagnetic radiation, the change which occurs depends on the type of radiation and therefore the amount of uh, energy being absorbed. Absorption of energy causes an electron or molecule to go from initial energy state to the higher energy state that is called excited state which could take the form of increased rotation, vibration or electronic excitation. So by studying the changes in energy state, uh, the scientists are able to learn more about the physical and chemical properties of the molecules. Uh, so there are two ways in which matter can interact with electromagnetic radiation. They are absorption and emission. What is absorption uh, phenomenon? What is absorption spectroscopy? Uh, when the electrons present in the atom or molecule of a, a substance of any matter which absorbs energy from electromagnetic radiation and it will uh, move or it will jump from uh, ground state to the excited state that is lower energy state to the higher energy state this phenomenon is called absorption now we discuss about emission if the electrons jump from the excited state to the ground state and they release uh, electromagnetic radiation it is nothing but emission so there are uh, four types of uh, four different types of energies associated with the molecule that is a molecule usually possesses four different types of energies. They are translational energy. So it is due to translational linear motion of molecules and rotational energy. It is due to the rotation of molecule about an axis perpendicular to the internuclear axis that is 
rotation of molecules or part of molecules ab uh, rotate about uh, the center of gravity and the third energy is vibrational energy it is due to the to and fro motion of the uh, nucleus of the molecule and uh, it is associated with uh, stretching contracting or uh, bending of covalent bonds present in the molecules so they usually uh, behave as spirals made of wire and uh, electronic energy this is due to the absorption of energy by the electron uh, results in the excitation to the higher energy levels so the total energy of a molecule is the sum of translational rotational vibrational and electronic energies so uh, depending on the energies absorbed by the molecules they result into rotational or electronic transitions or vibrational transition i told you in the previous slide and thus a molecule can exist in variety of these energies and can move from one level to the another level by sudden jump uh, so all uh, the three types of energies are quantized that is uh, The, there are only discrete uh, rotational or vibrational or electronic levels of an atom or molecule so thus the rotational uh, vibrational or uh, uh, sorry and uh, electronic energy levels of the molecules are collectively called as uh, molecular energy levels so when energy is absorbed transitions occur between their energy levels so this results in uh, this uh, result in molecules are called spectrum so the translational energy is a uh, very lowest energy and it is uh, negligible and the rotational energy is smaller than the uh, vibrational energy and the vibrational energy is uh, smaller than the electronic energies so uh, what we have discussed today what is spectroscopy the definition of spectroscopy we have, uh, we have come across and the regions of uh, electromagnetic spectrum and the absorption and emission spectra and the type of uh, molecular energies uh, possessed by the molecule uh, students i hope you understand thanks for watching